What a nice surprise. This guy's from San Francisco Magazine. I I'm one of the 10 most eligible bachelors in the city. Can you believe it? <laughs> Marty, we need to talk. Not a good time, Nat. Did you just call me Nat? Hey, hey, get one with me and Monk. No. Here, no, 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 this is good. It's like a summit of great minds. Philip Marlowe meets Sherlock Holmes. It's about your mother. A little something she might have overheard while at work. Okay, the, the music's too loud, I can't hear. Take, take a five, take a five. We know how you did it, Marty. We figured it out. How I did what? Didn't your mother ever tell you that cheaters never win? Actually, it was your mother's idea. She works for Pacific Global Airlines, doesn't she, in the quality control department? Yeah, so? This call may be monitored for quality purposes. Here's what happened. After the murders, Blanchard and Dial went back to their motel room, counted their jewels, and then they called the airlines to buy plane tickets to Costa Rica. They were put on hold. What they didn't know was that your mother was already on the line monitoring their call. They must have been on hold for quite a while because they talked about everything. Who they killed, where they dumped the car, even where they hid the masks. But she didn't call the police. She called you and told you everything you needed to know to solve the case. Or at least pretend to solve it. You're a very smart man. Yeah, he's the real thing. Yep. Yeah. Of course, you, you realize you have no proof for any of this. Don't airlines record phone conversations? Yes, Nat, I believe they do. Yeah. Yes, they certainly do. But those conversations have a way of being accidentally erased. So it's really your word against mine. And who do you think everyone's going to believe? The amazing Marty Eels or uh, yesterday's news? <laughs> Phone's been ringing off the hook. Cases, cases, cases. <laughs> Would you mind?